Hey, this is Hornbush at the first hole. <laughs> There's old Frank. <laughs> he, uh, he wanted me to, well, I asked him to let me dig a signal, uh, or let me run the signal with my AT Pro over where he was with his GPX. Uh, and uh, he did that, and uh, he had me go ahead and dig it, and out of this hole that you see right in front of you, <laughs> get that Jeep, get that <laughs> coil out of there. I found this really nice uh, 58. It, it's fired, I think. I think I can detect some lands and grooves on it, but it's uh, pretty much intact. This is the first for my AT Pro with me, and it came in real well, and I'm real happy. Uh, maybe five, six inches, uh, but uh, it's a good find. See you at the next hole. Hey, this is Hornbush at my second hole of the day. Uh, I got it out in the plug, well not the first plug, it's there, but after I dug it out a little bit deeper, it's right there, and it's, uh, it's fired many. It's, uh, you can see the rings right back there, but it's, uh, it's pretty well torn up, but it's Civil War lead, so I'll take it. We'll see you at the next hole. Hey, this is Hornbush. I'm at my next hole, and down in the very bottom... You can see right there, that's something. It's a, uh, that's a big piece of lead. I suspect it's, it's uh, fired many, but this is just a gigantic piece of lead. I, I don't know. I'll have to clean it up later. It's a great find, and uh, I'll see you at the next hole. Hey, this is Hornbush. Uh, I'm continuing to dig with the uh, the AT Pro there. Uh, got another signal, and you can probably see it center screen. It's uh, another severely deformed. Now this one isn't many, I can tell. Severely deformed, Civil War lead. Take it all day long. That's four. For the AT Pro so far today. See you at the next hole. Hey, this is Hornbush. I uh, got another good signal. Dug this plug, dug another spade full. It's right there. And uh, it's right here. Well, I thought it was right there. There it is. Oh, good. Outstanding. Another fired mini. It's number five for the AT. I've only been here, well, not too awful long. Uh, these targets are not real deep. Uh, that one, I guess, is close to six, maybe seven inches deep. But if you can see the grass here in the field it's very very hard to get the coil down uh, I just uh, I hadn't dug any uh, minis with this uh, AT Pro yet and uh, I wanted to come to this field that we're at the fourth core shooting range uh, and uh, try it and uh, see how it worked uh, but uh, it's doing fine and uh, I'll see you at the next hole hey this is Hornbush at my next hole uh, got a good signal down there uh, it's not out of the dirt yet. I have not seen it or anything like that. I thought I'd go ahead and, and dig it with my lash here and we can look at it together at the same time. Yeah, there it is right there. Boy, another tortured mini. That's a good find. Man. There's the base of it. It's the three ringer. Great. All right. That's six for the AT. See you at the next hole. Hey, this is Hornbush with the After the Hunt wrap up. Uh, went hunting with uh, my new AT Pro today uh, for the first time uh, detecting actual bullets, mini balls. And uh, I went out for just a short period of time. Went out to the fourth core uh, rifle range here. And. Uh, I, because uh, uh, I knew there would be many balls there, and there were, and 
within a short amount of time I basically got six minis and one shard. Uh, the, uh, the AT Pro uh, performed well uh, even though the grass was extremely high. It took a lot of maneuvering to get the coil down close enough to where it could hit. Uh, in this particular field uh, there was some mineralization. Uh, the, uh, the repeatable signals just weren't always there. Uh, I had experienced the same thing with my F-75 in this particular field. Uh, but uh, the number range bounced back and forth between iron and, and high and whenever it, uh, it did that I would dig it and there would always be a bullet. So uh, it basically performed uh, as the F-75 did. Uh, it's hard to really tell if uh, this machine is as deep as the F-75 but I've got good first impressions of it. Uh, this would not be a, a fair test for the, the Garrett because the, uh, the grass was so high. I mean it was extremely high. So a good, uh, good outing and uh, thank you for watching. God bless each and every one of you. See you at the next hole.